Hi, I'm Metal Scott. That's Mr. Dad Hat. Welcome back, Mr. Dad Hat. Back again with the hat for dads. Yeah. Yeah. So today, we are going to talk about this here, Gibson Les Paul Tribute. Now, what's the deal with the tribute? It's just a tribute. So it, it like, you, this isn't the greatest Les Paul in the world? No, that probably costs tens of thousands of dollars. So this is just a tribute? That's what it says on the headstock. It says tribute on the headstock. <laughs> Thank you so much. What are the differences between your Gibson standard and your Gibson tribute? Uh, Les Paul standard, Les Paul tribute. What's, what are we talking about? Why? What's the price range? Well, first of all, I don't own a... I don't own a standard, so uh, I guess the biggest differences between the Les Paul Standard and the Les Paul Tribute is that I have the Tribute and I don't have the Standard. Fantastic. Okay, let's talk seriously. Uh, what's the price range? Uh, this retails for twelve hundred American. I got for nine hundred American, so steal, ish. I got a brand new from the store, so I guess that's considered a steal. <laughs> $300 off, I don't know. Honestly, though... 75% uh, the uh, retail value. It's not really that bad, um, considering a Gibson... Standard Gibson is in, like, $3,000, right? 3300 yeah. 3400 Yeah. Over three grand. Carlos. Three, three big ones. Carlos. Carlos. He doesn't even watch. <laughs> yeah, I know. Anyways, this is the tribute. So, uh, what's different about a tribute from your standard uh, traditional to uh, standard Les Pauls? Because I know that the traditional and the standard Les Paul are a little different, but this is even different from that. Yeah. So, if we're comparing this to the Les Paul that I have, which is the Les Paul traditional, uh, this one doesn't have speed knobs. The other one does. Uh, this one has little arrows on the knobs to point you where you are, which is cool if you're uh, not me and keep everything on 10 all the time. So that, that'd be nifty if it, uh, if, if it were relevant to me. Uh, there's, no, there's no puck, surprisingly. That is really. There's no, there's yeah, no puck. It doesn't tell you what it is. You just, it's just like, look, if you can't figure this shit out. You just have to know. If you're not in the know. You have to be in the know. If you're not in the know, then you probably just don't know. Yeah. Like, come on. Uh, Tonomatic bridge, obviously it's a Les Paul. Kind of standard stuff. Uh, pickups are different. I couldn't tell you which ones are in the Les Paul because I don't remember. But these are 490R and, and T's? I think it's 490 and then 496. Uh, biggest thing, satin finish on this one versus the typical gloss finish on your regular Les Pauls and regular guitars, really. And one more thing that's a little different that I really appreciate is that instead of your standard super thick leading towards baseball bat Gibson neck, this one is a little bit thinner. Just, yeah. just a little bit um, closer. It feels pretty similar to the, um, to the Explorer. Excuse me. Um, except satin. And it's still got, it's like the shape is still a little more um, Les Paul. Yeah, the tribute's more in the lines of like your 60s neck where it's somewhat of a slim taper. You're not gonna be able to see that. Versus the traditional, which is more of your 58. 58 or 59, I forget. I think it's 58. Um, yeah, so why don't we Give them some tones. Oh, this only comes in two colors. The good color and the bad color. Well, I think for 2019, there's one that's like a weird... It's a burst. It's like a red and a yellow burst. I forget what it's called. Okay. It's not tobacco. I think it's like cherry burst or something. Come in two colors. The good one, which is the honey sunburst, and then the weird one, which is the gold top satin. Satin just doesn't look good in a gold top. Yeah. I don't know why, it just doesn't. Yeah, oh, let's do this a uh, couple tones, and then I do wanna say why you would pick a tribute over the studio, or, yeah. You save $700.
Yeah, this is all neck. There's no coil splitting, no weirdness, because it's a tribute. Makes sense to me. Here's the, the neck and bridge. Which is the next lower, next lowest uh, Gibson Les Paul model? I think this is it. So you think everything below this is Epiphone? I think. This is too nice to be that. So I prefer playing on this to your uh, Les Paul traditional. Yeah, because you don't like the big neck. Yes, but. There is a certain um, cheap feel compared to, like it feels really high end until you compare it to an instrument that costs over twice the price. And then you're just like, oh, okay, well, yeah, that still feels sense. nice. Yeah, it's like, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, I mean, you, you don't want to feel, you don't feel too bad about it. You're like, it makes sense. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, let's give them some distorted tones. Put you back on, stand by, up. Oh and kick it all right i'm going to be starting no pedals the, just yeah. the um, the dual caliber dc5 with no sound no 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 pedals no sound special edition no um, sound this no is sound literally dance. literally this demo is just the dc5 yeah so uh if you want here's some tones uh with od without od with the with the gate on it. Gate on. Okay. Gate plus OD. Oh wow, that really cleaned that up. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Oh, Distorted wow. tones on the neck. Stopped it from ringing out. Yeah. 
I fucked up on fretting this note. But. Oh well, it happens to the worst of us. Yeah. <laughs> All right, uh, middle position. You, you got this. You can do this. What? Okay, uh, bridge position. Okay. And those are the tones of the of the Les Paul. Go to the bridge. <laughs> tapping on the high frets when you do this. Of what I truly am. Uh, no, you. <laughs> you remind me uh, why you're the guitarist and I play bass. Yeah. Uh, so, good job. That being said, give me that thing. Although I want to play some clean stuff. Okay. Try some clean stuff. Just okay. uh, yeah. I, I, I was playing on this for what, like half an hour earlier. Yeah. I don't know. It was okay. just nice. this thing sounds good just gonna maybe just Final thoughts? Words? Uh, I wish it had a kill switch. That's because you were playing on the Brent Hines V. You were definitely playing on the Brent Hines Epiphone Flying V, and yeah. now you just really wish it had a kill switch. Yeah. I want to put it like right here. Right where the, it is on the V. Yeah. No, well, it's, on the yeah, V, it's, on it's the bottom. like here. Yeah. Here. I've been Metal Scott. He's been Mr. Dad Hat. Your, uh, your guitar stopped working again. Oh, shit. Oh, there you go. 
Why don't you play us out with nice airy chords? Have a great day. Or don't.